my channel welcome back to my channel hey boo boo welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber hey best friend and if you're new it's your girl Lele in the building and today we got another reading so you already know get your drink and eat drink get your snack and eat snack and let's get it popping now the motto of today is gonna be i've moved on to greater purpose all right so i've moved on to greater purpose affirm that down below because you've moved on you don't swamped out the swamp bye bye past okay that's the energy you are embarking on right now all right so comment this down below i have moved on from the past period now the concept that we're talking about today okay so people are saying you're unforgettable and you're standing on business so Comment that down below. I am standing on business. Now, before I get started, you can go ahead and skip ahead if you don't want to hear this part. I almost forgot. I'm talking to my best friends out there, okay? My soul tribe. All right, so I went thrift shopping and I just wanted to show off my thrift stuff real quick, okay? So, like, all right, y'all, I found some gems. If you like thrifting, comment down below and tell me some cool finds that you found. I That's one of my favorite pastimes that I love to do is thrift store shopping. Hey! And the next thing that I found as well is a Pulp Fiction shirt. This is my favorite movie of all time, Pulp Fiction. All right, it's kind of big, like it's like really big. So it's probably gonna be a sleep shirt for me. And I also found a Frida Kahlo apron for painting. Oh my God, y'all, look at that. Ain't that awesome? Yeah, Frida Kahlo in the building. And also, I just wanna tell a real quick story about this right here. I found this as well at the thrift store today. And this is the secret. And I've been looking for this book at thrift stores. I can never find it. And today, I, before I left the house, this is what I said to myself. I said, you know, I wonder what treasures the universe will show me today. I wonder what treasures the universe will show me today. And I really thought about that. And I just kind of marinated in that energy for a second. I was like, okay, because I've been trying to manifest finding this book at a thrift store. I can never find it. I live in the Bible Belt. So, you know, say like, it's kind of hard to find like things of this nature, you know, the Bible Belt, whatnot. And so like I go to the thrift store and I finally go to the book section. I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm like, that would be so crazy if I found the secret. Like, and I'm seeing like, you know, all these other old books and stuff like that. And then like at the very end, this book was sitting by itself. And I like my jaw dropped and my heart just sunk into my stomach. And I was like, I freaking manifested it. So yeah, I got the secret finally. I've seen the documentary. I've not read the book yet. So I'm gonna read it. And yeah, so I'm just letting you know, like magical things are possible. Set that intention. Like I wonder what the universe has to offer me today. I wonder what treasures I'm gonna find today. All right, so affirm that down below. I wonder what the universe is gonna show me today, period. So I digress with that ish. Now back to the reading. So right now you have some people whose jaws are dropped literally because they hurt you. There's people who, from the past who don't hurt you and like boo boo. They're saying you're unforgettable because they did not expect, like some people did not expect to fall in love with you. That's a message coming through. All right. And they didn't expect you to level up, to boss up the way that you have, to take ownership for your life. All right. So the universe blessed this person. There's this person right now, okay? They're stalking you currently, okay? Whether it's your social media platform, if you're, you have, if you, let's say you post videos or something like that on TikTok or YouTube, whatever. Um, they're watching, they're stalking, they're at a crossroads. We have this crossroads energy and we have getting out of victim mentality, which is what you were doing. You got out of victim mentality because these people, this person scarred you right and it was the catalyst for you to boss up and to take responsibility for your own life because it was like never again never gonna dine with haters never gonna dine with enemies or people who are secretly stabbing me in the back right like two-faced folks and your light literally has these people triggered your light has them triggered they're currently now in this limbo energy where before I feel like you were feeling that way. You know, you were harping over that resentment for a while and like you're totally over it. Like, boo-boo, the, <laughs> the underdog is over it, period. Comment that down below. The underdog is over it. All right, so we have Uranus vibes. So this card has been coming up a lot in the readings lately. All right, so Uranus energy. It's about sudden and shocking events, epiphanies, and genius revelation. 
followed by, and I knew this was going to pop out because I saw this stocking card, right? And I was like, Lord Jesus, I hope, like, I hope that that card don't pop out. And it did. Yes, they're still in love with you, okay? The one that popped in your mind. And we have discipline, that work ethic, though, 9 to 5 routine, daily grind. You're not even, like, you're not even focused on that ish anymore. But these people are heavily focused on you because you got something going on, is what we were saying. When you were around these people, you didn't have a lot going on. I feel like you didn't really see your value or your worth. And I say that because we do have, like, some cards to confirm this. The overarching energy, we have self-worth coming through. Followed by renewal, which is showing me that you have had a renewal in your self-worth. Comment this down below. I am worthy. Okay, I am worthy. That is your I am statement for today. And you have renewed your self-worth. And these people feel guilty as hell. We have the guilt card coming through. Okay, so they feel guilty because they fumbled you. It also, like, is definitely feeling with that person who is still in love with you, obsessed. They could have Scorpio placements is what I just heard. Like, they didn't realize how special you, like, they, they didn't realize, like, they were going to fall in love with you the way that they did. And then they fumbled you. And I say that because this is your energy as the Empress, right? You're the Empress. You are the whole package. Comment that down below. I'm the whole package, period. We have the Empress. We have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Queen of Wands. You could be a Leo. Have Leo in your chart is what I just heard. Okay. But this is an energy of like you have so much to offer in your relationships. And whenever you got into this person's life, Spirit was saying that like you blessed this person. Okay. So the universe blessed this person when you came into their life. Right. They didn't realize that you were the ideal person that they wanted to be with, right? Like, they didn't realize, like, you weren't like everybody else, okay? They were still uh, maneuvering and moving in the world the same way that they were before you, right? So they had all these, like, karmic things that they did. Um, definitely could have been a cheater. Say that because we have the Seven of Swords and the Six of Pentacles with this, okay? So the Six of Pentacles is clarifying the Seven of Swords. I had to get a little bit more in-depth with that Seven of Swords, right? So this is your energy as that Empress, as the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups, right? You have beautiful, delicious, powerful, nurturing energy. And this person fumbled you. They did. Okay, they was doing some sneaky, you know what, in the background. And what happened? Like, you ended up making a judgment call, right? You took you took the matters into your own hands is what I'm hearing. You could have, like, just you just broke up with them kind of thing because you weren't going to deal with their BS. That's going to be for some of y'all. All right, it's definitely multiple people. It's not, it's this one particular person's energy is coming into the reading, but there are a lot of different factors and different people as well who are just like, they feel really guilty for what they did, for either belittling you, for cheating on you, okay? And you're in this energy with the judgment, the hermit in the reversal, and the two of swords, right? We had that crossroads, which is showing me like at one point you were at that crossroads. And second guessing like, Am I really that bitch? I don't feel like it. You'll say like, and, and I feel this energy coming through that like you had to learn that your self-worth was not tied to the betrayals of other people. Ooh, that's powerful. And so you learned like it's never, it was not personal to me. This person has issues is what you realized and that you got back up is what Spirit's telling me. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. Like, I was just saying, like, this was an opportunity for you. It's like uh, you made an escape out of uh, the way that you were also moving in the world, right? Not living up to that standard that you live up to today. You live up to this higher standard now is what Spirit's showing me here. And literally with the Eight of Swords and to the Six of Swords uh, coming through, this is definitely that energy of, like, you got out of the victim mentality, right? You planned your escape and you bossed up. Okay, that's that's what happened with you. And this person, like, they tried to get in your mental. We ha That's crazy. This just flipped in the reverse, so it wasn't the upright, okay? So Spirit's saying you did drop it. You dropped thinking about this. You dropped, like, you, at one point you were feeling kind of obsessed and, like, wanting closure or answers in the situation. And finally you dropped it. You dropped the devil, period, okay? And you finally had discernment. You had discernment on, okay, I'm not going to let what happened to me trick me out of my happiness or my future, period. Okay, and then we also have the Five of Wands clarified with what? Justice. Y'all, y'all already know on this channel, justice be showing heavy in this readings, okay? So, this is showing me right now, like, it's not a competition. Like, this is another thing. Like, they maybe they even try to replace you. And, like, it's just giving the vibes, like, you're irreplaceable. You're unforgettable. Comment that down below. I am unforgettable. I am irreplaceable, period. Because you're the genuine article. And people who have tried to replace you, all they get are these cookie cutter, you know what, 
in the building, people who are just, you know, bots, you're not a bot. Like, you're that glitch in the matrix. That's what makes you beautiful. That's what makes you magical, boo-boo, period. Okay? So, yeah. Also, I was also feeling this energy in my stomach as I was doing, like, you know, their energy was coming in heavy, and, like, I was tapping into it, and I did not feel comfortable doing so. I was like, ugh, like, this person really wants to, like, ugh, I don't even like saying that. Reach out to you, okay? I said it. Ugh. Rebuke to bad, okay? <laughs> No, but I was feeling this energy in my stomach and I, like I was feeling sick to my stomach. Like this person feels sick to their stomach for what they did to you because they realize like you're a walking angel, right? And like not only now, okay, so you're a sweetie, you were a sweetie and I feel like you got taken advantage in those situations, but now like you a boss. My, you don't, you take care of business. You are standing on business. Comment that down below. I'm standing on business, period, right? And spirits showing me as well. Yeah, they were feeling sick to their stomach currently. Like, that's what, like, they're watching you. And, like, they just keep on hurting themselves doing that. They, so, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, also, uh, they made you forget who you were. And you felt alone at one point. And now, it's like, you've woken up. You woke up to your self-worth. Your self-worth was renewed, okay? And they thought you were, you were just going to be a fling. They didn't realize, like, oh, once you have a taste of you of collective here like you get addicted like you're in because you're a healer right that's just how it is as a healer whenever you're a healer you naturally heal people you healed it's like it goes into their subconscious and like now they're in this like weird purgatory or whatever because you're over here standing on business and like they didn't expect you with this discipline energy to take matters into your own hands and do what you got to do to survive to get out of that to get out of that rut to get out of victim mentalities and be codependent right okay and also, like, now you're in your lane, and you drink your water, and you mind your business. That's the energy that you're in right now, okay? And you've moved on, right? You've moved on to greater purpose. You've moved on to greater purpose, and you are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing, is what I want to say. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it popping with some more cards. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Tell me more about this energy spirit. Thank you. Oh, we got the secret. It's in the upright. It says thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. So currently it's like given the vibes of Jupiter is what it feels like here. You're in, I'm hearing, I just heard a uh, Jupiter Dasha. I don't know if that's a thing. I think it might be a thing. I don't know. I think it sounds like Vedic astrology stuff. Okay. But there's this energy of Jupiter coming through with you. Like you finally set yourself free. You set the captives free and like you decided maybe you started traveling right? This is given the vibes of like, you know, after you go through a heartbreaking situation and like you just go and rediscover yourself. Like that's the thing that you did. Like you went and rediscovered yourself. Addict. We have addict coming through. So this is okay. So it says helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. So this whole situation literally was the catalyst to your level up period. Is what Spirit's saying. And, like, maybe you were an addict at one point or something like that. And, like, you overcame that. You finally tried to seek the truth. Like, why do... Like, you did a lot of shadow work. You went within where you're like, you know, why do I respond this way? Like, what's going on inside, right? That's what you did. You addressed that. Ooh, we got the martyr card. And we have the shapeshifter in the reversal. Victim. There's a victim energy coming through. This person, also with that addict card, I want to say, like, they could be an addict, okay? As given those types of eyes. And also coming back with that seeker and addict, this is also somebody who would escape. I'm hearing escapism. Uh, whenever, like, whenever they get into a relationship or a commitment or whatever, like, they're afraid of commitment because they're childish. That's what I'm hearing. They're very childish. And you had to learn how to be the adult in the room. And like I said, take an ownership and responsible right? I feel you, boo-boo. Like, I'll go ahead and be vulnerable now. Like, I used to be an alcoholic, right? And it was destroying my life. And I had to own up to that ish. I had to be better for the people that I loved, right? And I feel this similar energy for, with some of you guys, right? Like, you had to be better for yourself and for maybe even your kids, uh, for the people that are around you. Like, you, you were done self-sabotaging is what I'm hearing here. So we have the martyr card coming through. It says, learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. So this is showing me that like now your life purpose is so much bigger, is so much more important than the rear view mirror of this past energy is what I want to say. Okay. And we also have the shapeshifter in the reversal. Ooh. 
Okay, it says projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. This is an opportunist. This was somebody who, it's like they they blend well. Like this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what's coming through. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. So I'm also getting this message coming through as well. There is another person's energy is coming in right now. It's feeling like a feminine. It's feeling like it uh, could have been someone you used to associate with. Is what I'm hearing here. Um, Okay, this is weird. So if you, this is going to be a specific message for those who, let's say, you make uh, social media like, uh, like you're on YouTube or something like that. Like I'm seeing this feminine drinking a lot of like, let's say, wine or something, and like they're obsessively watching your content and they're just like rubbing themselves up, kind of thing is what I'm hearing. Okay, and they play the victim with that martyr card, twisting the facts is what I'm hearing. Like I said, your light has them triggered. All right, you're currently kind of giving people a show. Like it's like that. And, like, these people, they're in the energy of guilt. Like, I'm also hearing, like, this person, you didn't give somebody the last word. That's what I'm hearing. Like, you didn't give somebody or some people the last word. Like, you just, you didn't even, like, respond, right? So, if somebody could have come, been coming at you crazy or whatever, their true colors were shown with that, uh, with that shapeshifter in the reversal, right? Like, you saw their true colors finally, like, it leaked out, is what you're showing me. And, like, you did not respond. Like, you did not give them that reaction. You didn't you know, you didn't sit there and feed into their drama. You just, you're like, you know what? I'm not even, you could have the last word. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause they looked crazy. Saboteur is in the reversal. Okay. Induces self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others is coming through here. Literally shape shift. This is the, this is what you have healed from people who would shape shift and were, it's like, they were not who they said that they were. Uh, they would sit there and be, you know, like, they'd act like they were really sweet or like they're your best friend or they do something nice for you. And then there was an ulterior motive. Like, you dealt with a lot of people who had their ulterior motives is what Spirit's showing me here. And, like, with this energy, induces self-destructive behavior. Like, this this is given, like, also toxic Scorpion vibes, like Scorpio vibes for some of y'all. Like, because the toxic side of a Scorpio, like, one who is not in their power, will be willing to sting themselves in order to destroy you kind of thing, right? So this is those types of people that you healed from. Like, your energy, your vibration is so much higher now, and they can't, it's like they they can't understand the language that you speak now. Like they can't understand like why you move the way that you do is what spirit saying. Like they're trying to figure you out. You got a lot of people who are trying to figure you out currently. Femme fatale y'all highlights the erotic energy of the feminine opens your heart when your dependency is rejected. So you've, you've rescued yourself. Your feminine has rescued herself. She has stepped into her power as the empress. Comment that down below for my ladies. I am the empress. All right. And if you're a guy, you're an emperor, period. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the queen in the reversal and the print. Look, it's both of their energies, y'all. So this is the F-boy, okay, coming through here. We got the F-boy with the prince energy. That's, you know, like I said, they would sit there and act. Maybe they did a lot. Love bombing. Like people who did that love bombing-ish. I'm also hearing Gemini energy for some of y'all. Uh, but then, like, turn around, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, BS, right? And you're not easily manipulated anymore. Like, this is the reason why you're so discerning now. And with the queen in the reversal, this is the that toxic feminist. So these are two individuals coming into this energy right now. It's, the shadow attribute says becomes arrogant when authority is challenged and controlling and demanding. So with that feminine, I'm also hearing like they're this is definitely feeling like Snow White vibes. You know, Snow White, she was the fairest of them all. And that's your energy. You're given Snow White energy. And then this feminine is given the evil stepmother whoever she was you know what I'm saying like she was jelly she was out to go and you know what I'm saying like go kill her off or whatever and like her tactics at the end never worked because she found true love right but with you I feel like the true love is the love of self right to never put yourself in a situation where your integrity is going to be tested okay and with that prince energy okay the romantic charm and potential for power right this person, like, with this masculine energy I'm feeling here, this is somebody who is a soothsayer, right? Somebody who's good with their words. I'm hearing poetic. Could have been, let's say, like, you know, into poetry. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's given, like, a water sign type of energy they could have had. They could have had some water in their chart, right? But they were very... Y'all, it's the F-boy, period. So let's get a pop with some more. Let's see some more about this energy spirit. Oh, dang. Okay. 
masculine okay so here's the masculine's energy okay tell me more about this masculine what's up what's up what's going on with it uh-huh we have self-worth expectations so we have self-worth coming out twice in this reading this masculine energy that you dealt with literally had you effed up you know say like literally had you question it am i really the empress and then finally, the universe put a mirror to you. It was like, look in the mirror, honey. Yes, you are. You are the empress, period. And we have uh, we have unity and transcendence. So we have unity, transcendence. So this is showing me that you finally came into unity with yourself as an individual. Even if you're in a, in a new relationship right now or something like that, like you, you maintain your independence regardless. Not lose yourself in your relationships is what I'm hearing. You no longer lose yourself in your relationships. You have your own individualistic way of moving in the world, even if you are, you know, with your friends or in a relationship, like, you don't let yourself lose control anymore or lose a sense of identity. You found yourself. Comment that down below. I have found myself, period. We have union integration. So we do have unity and union coming through. So you've made space for, yeah, literally with the contracts, career, and commitment coming through. Like you've broken a soul contract. You've broken a lot of soul contracts is what Spirit's saying. I'm hearing time's up. Their time was up. Okay, and so now you're you're integrated into yourself and you're making space for other people who are also high vibing, right? Yeah, shadow side, the moon in the dark night, right? So this is definitely the energy like this person, these people, it's like you cut the cords and like they still, they hold it on, but they ain't nothing to hold on to because you ain't got the cord attached no more is what I'm hearing, okay? Who we got? Storm, unexpected. So we have unexpected twice. Your honest vibes is given your honest vibes. When I think of thunder, lightning, electricity, that's really your honest energy, right? So this is definitely showing me here like, with, especially with the shadow side, you have stepped into your shadow in a very beautiful way is what I'm hearing. Like, you don't hide the truth anymore. You don't hide how you feel anymore, right? And I feel like for a while, maybe even like for some of you guys, you could have been, let's say, holding on for hope that maybe this person would come back around. Like, these people would come back around to either apologize to you or whatever. And like, you decided you was just going to sit there and be like, you know what? I'm going to go live my best life because I'm living my best life, right? Period. You're living your best life. Comment that down below. I'm living my best life. Period. Okay. And it was a rude awakening. It was a rude awakening. Period. Anything else from this deck, Spirit? Okay, we got a lot of cards. Fate, look, speaking of lightning and thunder, here's some more here, okay? Fate, detours, and divine intervention. So you had divine intervention in this situation, right? Like, you could have been another statistic, and you weren't, right? This is giving the vibes also of, like, literally any type of statistic you could think of. You could have been it and you broke all of the odds right and these people can't believe it like they can't believe that you broke those statistics is what spirit showing me here alchemy ancestor guides because you're a chosen one you really are your ancestors have chosen you to break away from all of these bad habits and these patterns that you picked up growing up is what spirit showing me here and then we have party and external and people over here being in the external you're in the internal Right, that's where the real magic is. People sit there running outside themselves looking for, you know, somebody to be with for their guilty pleasures and stuff. And like, you don't play that game no more. You don't let people run game on you anymore is what Spirit showed me here. At the bottom of the deck, we have guarded and vulnerability. Right, so this is an energy of like, you had to protect your peace. All right, comment that down below. I protect my peace, period. So let's get the ball. We going along today. <laughs> Financial health. So right now, like you're, like I said, you're standing on business, right? You're focused on the right things. Your priorities are in check, period. Clarity. Financial health and clarity. Like you see clearly now. You see these people for who they truly are. And these people now, like they've woken up. Like they're, they're having clarity now. Because I'm hearing also like what they did to you, they've gotten back tenfold, right? Let's say you had somebody who like cheated on you or whatever. And like they got cheated on by some folks is what's coming through it is what it is clarity and finding like i said you have found yourself come on down below i have found myself okay you are beautiful right you've realized like i was the diamond in the rough this whole time right and like you was over here dining with snakes getting bit and like you've stepped away it's like i don't dine with snakes anymore Comp 
compassion. This is about self-compassion is what I'm hearing. Because, you know, you could have felt a lot of guilt, coming back to that guilt energy, for wasting your time. I feel like there was a lot of time wasted with people. And that was just something that you had to learn is that, you know, you, you got to, you know, time is of the essence. We only have this one life, right? So you don't want to waste it on people who are bringing you down or doing bad deeds behind your back, you know what I'm saying? Also here, stealing could have stole from you as well. Yeah, grieving and prosperity. So spirit say, like, what I'm hearing is, like, after the grieving period, you busted out as the butterfly, right? With this butterfly energy. And then the prosperity, this is showing me, like, this given this energy of, like, whenever you're crying and you're letting it out and, like, you finally make space for something beautiful to enter. That's the process of crying and releasing, right? And it was heavy and it was hard, but that doesn't make you a weak person. That just means that you're clearing it out, you're clearing the energy out, and then you're going to fill that space with prosperity. This is your prosperous season. Comment that down below. I am prosperous, right? They can't take it away from you. They can't take your blessings away from you. They can't take away your peace of mind anymore because you're not even like, you're not even fooling with it anymore. Like you're not sitting there like hoping and praying they'll come around and apologize. Whoop de whoop, you know, and I feel like they're in this weird purgatory energy and inspiration. And now here you are walking inspiration. You are a walking inspiration. Comment that down below. I am a walking inspiration. You even got your haters, not only pressed, but they're also inspired. So Split the deck, psychic ability. So don't sleep on it, boo-boo. You psychic, okay? You're a walking inspiration. Own it. I'm hearing a lot of people count on you right now because you're an inspiration, okay? So let's go ahead and get it popping with some final advice, okay? I'm so proud of you, boo-boo. You keep it up. You keep on rising and shining. You keep being that bitch, okay? We have expression. Keep expressing yourself. It says, unbridled colors from painting to fashion. She was self-discovering, freedom in action, right? Self-discovering, freedom in action. So you are free to express yourself. So you're saying this season, you're going to be like rediscovering yourself is the vibe coming through. This is a season of rediscovering. Oh, we got the empowerment card coming through. She has risen from the pit, free to choose, fit to win. Break the stigmas, break the chains, beating heart, win the game. Okay, so you have risen from the pit. Well, we got ingratitude. We got the gratitude card. It says blinding lights are out of focus. All that's real is in this moment. Breathe the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> smell the flowers, breathe the air. Life is balanced. Life is fair. Okay, if you want to take a little screenshot of that. <laughs> oh, drop the card, y'all. Bottom of the deck, we do have the sides card. It says numbers, feathers, and pennies from above. Follow the hums, soft as a dove. So pay attention to the signs right now. I feel like your guardian angels right now are showing you little glimpses of who you're becoming. Just follow the white rabbit is what we're saying. Okay, darling? Well, that's the reading I have for you. Until next time, I send you all of my love. You have a blessed, beautiful day. Ta-ta.